Hi, I'm John Healy. I'm the Curator of Mollusks at the Queensland Museum and uh, my job is to look after the collection and also do research on the specimens. So mollusks are animals such as snails and clams and oysters and we have a huge collection here at the Queensland Museum and um, that's my job basically. Well I love shells because um, they just come in all different shapes and sizes and colours and it's almost endless really. You look at some of these things and you just can't believe it's actually created by a mollusk and um, some of the shapes are unbelievable. Things with the big spines on them or just fantastic colour patterns on them and you think well you know I can understand why people don't think they're natural. They see something like a cowrie with a, a very a beautiful pattern on it. It's almost hard to believe it's, it's something that nature's created not, not a human being. And um, I just love them because there's just so many different types and I'm always seeing things I've never seen before um, and uh, you're always finding new things and so it's not like it's all been done before, it's, it's actually a lot of exciting things and even looking at species it shows a lot of variation. So taxonomists have, have a great job because they're looking at a wide range of species and they're just discovering new species all the time, sometimes naming them. Uh, and they're looking at where species overlap and the ranges that they have, things that occur um, across the Indo-West Pacific or they might be just native to a particular area of uh, the, the east coast of Australia. Um, and they might be dealing with terrestrial species that occur in the rainforests or ones that occur in the open woodlands. So you're actually dealing with a number of different um, means of describing the species and working out what species are new species and what ones are already just variations of previously described ones. And for the, to do that we use what we call morphology, which is for, for mollusks we use the actual shell, the patterns, the colour, the shape, the sculpture and in modern times we've been able to marry that with any evidence we get from DNA. So I've described, I think, about 16 species of um, land snails, and they range from uh, the, the larger banded snails of the Queensland forests to small keeled ones to even smaller, uh, what we call bristle snails. As far as actual individual shells, there may be up to a million here. It really is very rewarding because you're documenting the, the flora and fauna of the world. And I think what, what job could be more important than that really?